Rates of change. When we find the slope of a curve, we're finding the rate of change of one variable compared to another. To find the average gradient between two points on a curve, we are finding the rate of change of y with respect to x, and we use delta y over delta x. When we find the slope of a curve at a point, we are finding the instantaneous rate of change of y compared to x. Similarly, the rate of change of distance with respect to time gives average speed or velocity. However, at a specific moment in time, the rate of change of distance with respect to time gives instantaneous speed or velocity, v in brackets. A formula for acceleration is found by differentiating the speed or velocity formula or by finding the second derivative of distance with respect to time. Example 1. A cricket ball is hit vertically up in the air. After t seconds, its height in meters is given by s of t equals 20t minus 5 times t squared. Determine 1. The velocity of the ball after 0,5 seconds 2. The maximum height reached by the ball 3. The acceleration of the ball and 4. Which of the following graphs represents the cricket ball's velocity? Solution 1. After 0,5 seconds means at that specific time, so find the derivative. The derivative of s with respect to t equals 20 minus 10t. Substitute 0,5 into the derivative. The velocity of the ball after 0,5 seconds is 19,5 meters per second. 2. To find the maximum height reached by the ball, set the derivative equal to 0. 20 minus 10t equals 0. Therefore, t equals 2 seconds. So the ball takes 2 seconds to reach the maximum height of 20 meters. 3. To find the acceleration of the ball, find the second derivative. The second derivative equals negative 10, so the acceleration is negative 10 meters per square second. 4. The first graph shows the height that the ball reaches as time increases. The second graph is a distance time graph, which represents the cricket ball's velocity. And the last graph shows the acceleration of the ball. So B is the correct answer.